All right, I'll call mine. We're going down together. So rewind back to the days of Blockbuster Video. Okay. So probably early 2000s, like 2003, 2004. Uh, the most popular video game I played at the time was Diablo 2. I was playing a crap ton of it. And uh, I was browsing Blockbuster and I came across a, a movie. And I was so excited because I had no idea that Diablo had made a movie. I knew that their cinematics were like top notch for the time. Uh -huh. And I found this movie and I knew I had to get it. The movie is called The Legend of Diablo. Oh boy. And let me tell you, it opens up and there's a guy walking like through the woods, along a beach, along some rocks for about 25 minutes. And then he gets into a cave, finds a spot, camera zooms out, you hear a scream. And then it cuts to another person walking the same path for quite a long time to get to the same cave. And I knew then I had made a horrible mistake. But I watched it. I watched it all the way through. And the movie was so awful, so disappointing. And yet, I couldn't help but be proud because it had gotten me. It got me to rent it. It got me to be hyped for it. And now, not only was it so bad that I was like so originally sad that it wasn't about Diablo, the video game at all, but I realized none of my friends knew that. And I was going to hype this bad boy up and I was going to drag them down with me. And oh boy, did I. One by one, they came over and I told them about the Diablo movie. We had played so many hours of our smiter paladins, our ice sorceresses. We were going to watch this movie and they were going to love it. It starts a little slow, but don't worry, it picks up. And as the movie went on for each person, I grew more and more powerful with glee, seeing the confusion and then the credits would roll and they would just look at me dumbfounded like did you actually enjoy this and the answer was yes but not because of the movie but because of you because you went down like i did but i got to witness the fall the legend of diablo <laughs> the magical transformation from human to possessed demon is they get some like football eyeliner under their eyes it's beautiful there's a scene where there's a musical beat going dum 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 and that's like all the music and everyone's jamming like they're at a rock concert. It makes no sense. There's like these zombie people just like banging away. You know, you know how zombies move in a pack and they're all stupid. They're just like hitting walls with their hands and stuff. Well, they're doing that at a car. They're just beating at this car. And then randomly one of them just like has a moment of genius where they go grab the car door, push their thumb in to open the handle, pull it open, and then go back to beating it like a stupid mindless zombie. It's so horrible and glorious at the same time that I've talked about this since I first found it. And I've talked about it so much. My friend Patrick, Patrick Static, for everyone out there, he found it and bought me a copy. And I made us all watch it one night and they all hated it. And I was so happy that it lived up to the hype that I remembered. And I've got it in my hands right now. I keep it by my desk because it makes me happy. The Legend of Diablo. And we can watch it after we're done with this episode, guys. No, no, no. I'm good. I, um, I'm pass. Okay. Yeah, pass. That's kind of messed up, man. Got special features. How many friends did you manage to rope into this horrible evening? Um, probably about 15 people I've made watch this. Really? Yeah. Really? God. And every single time beforehand, I hyped it up. I talked about how, like, this was like a college-made film or something. It was surprising, especially being made in the early 2000s, how good the special effects, the makeup, costume. Like, I, I went in and I hyped up every aspect of it and talked about, like, how, you know, they really find their footing, like, in the second act. And by then, they're, they've watched enough to where it's like, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like with mobile games and stuff where you've invested a little bit of money so you feel like you've got to continue. It's like they put enough time and once they get to the second act, it's like, well, I've got to finish it now. And they do. They sit through it and then they leave so unsatisfied. And the more unsatisfied they are, the more satisfied I am. I don't know what that says about me, but I don't care because I'm so happy just remembering right now. <laughs> I'm in heaven. Is it like a situation where your friends have to also corroborate your story because they want others to suffer just as much as you made them suffer? Yes, and they did. <laughs> they would join in it was glorious i was like all right we're gonna we're gonna totally get like uh i, I told my friend jared I was like we're gonna get katie to watch this and we're gonna we're gonna hype it up she's gonna love it we're, we got to play it up and he was like dude this is so bad i was like i know but just wait watching her reaction will be worth it he's like yeah you're probably right and like eventually we had everyone on board it grew and grew and grew until we got bored of it and then moved on <laughs> well i mean you can only watch it so many times because you have to sit through it with them but I do appreciate the commitment. So 15, I'll divide that by five and give you three points. Thank you. I feel like your friends were the different kind of person than I am. <laughs> if you if you did that to me, 
I would just look over and be like, man, this fucking sucks. It's an 85 minute long movie. Ugh. Ugh. And you would be like, no, no, it gets better in the second. And I would be like, it's unredeemable. It's already at a point where I don't care if the second half of this movie is crazy and awesome. No, I don't care. And I will watch it because we're already watching it. And I want to just have seen it now. So I don't ever have to do that again. And then if you were like, no, but we should get other people to watch it. I would have been like, no, I don't want to do that either. I am. Um, <laughs> I hated that. That was really terrible. And I would tell everyone just to undermine you because that I would know that that was a thing that you did to people. That's really rude. <laughs> it is. Does your, does your stamp of approval mean nothing, sir? Is Wade's stamp literally just a clown face? No, because they would have, they would forget about it immediately and trust me again. Nah, nah, nah. It ain't like that. Oh, yeah. I'm not that guy. Maybe I'm overestimating myself, but you would have got me and I would have been like, all right, cool. And then, you know, I never would have trusted you again, I guess. <laughs> that was pretty harsh. Now, nah, you have to do enough trustworthy things where people do trust you. Then you slip <laughs> up the one time you and then you start earning it back again. You just build up trust so you can break it down again. I think there's a certain psychological profile that you might fit, sir. Yikes. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's called Bestie. God. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Okay.